Well, hello YouTube and welcome to another video on my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you my entire Rosa Gallery art supply collection. So I'm expecting this to be a very, very long one. So grab some coffee, grab some cleaning supplies and throw this on in the background if you are in the mood to hear about everything Rosa Gallery. And I will get started sharing everything I know with you straight away. Well, thank you so much for staying with me, especially for this video. I'm really excited for it. This was actually my um, most requested video of 2023, and it is now 2024, so Happy New Year, and I'm excited to share this video with you. So I love Rosa Gallery paints. Uh, Rosa Gallery is a Ukrainian paint company, and they make watercolors, and they also make acrylic paint, oil, gouache, all sorts of stuff. They make all sorts of art supplies, as it turns out. And I, I discovered them in 2021. So what I'm thinking is that I will go through everything I own. I have 10 of their products in front of me. And I'm thinking what I'll do is share with you their products in the order that I obtain them. And um, I want to share with you what I got, what I've made with it, and my experience using it. And um, yeah, so that's how I'm thinking it'll grow. So I'm going to settle in and I will start with the very first palette that I got. So I discovered Rosa Gallery watercolors in late 2021 on Amazon, and I saw that they were professional grade watercolors made in Ukraine, and they were super affordable. My art supply budget is $50 a month, and I really try to abide by that and to stick to that. And I wanted these two palettes. And I got excited because Rosa Gallery watercolors were professional grade watercolors, at least that I saw at a really affordable price. Um, they have lots of different palettes and they were all priced between like $25 and $60. And they do go on sale, so watch for that. Um, but I have a art supply budget of $50 a month. So for me to be able to get professional grade watercolors at about that price, I was really, really excited. But wouldn't you know it, I wanted these two palettes, both of which were priced at $60, which was just a little bit outside of my budget. And I really try to respect it. I really do because like, I feel like I have to set my limit somewhere, right? And if I don't respect it, well, so anyway, um, I, I, I wanted them both. And they were both a little bit outside my budget, but ultimately I decided on this one and I splurged and I'm so glad I did. So uh, this is the Rosa Gallery Romantic watercolor set. I, I have a link in the description down below. The link is actually to Rosa Gallery's um, page on Amazon where you can see all of the paints and palettes that they currently have in stock. Now these paints are like popular. They're, they often sell out and also they often come right back in stock. So keep your eye out and that's why I dropped the, the link to the actual page where you can see all the paints that's in stock and also it's an affiliate link. And I do have that limited budget of $50 a month. So I'd super appreciate it if you'd use that affiliate link. Anyhow, um, yeah, so I splurged and I got myself this $60 set, a uh, romantic set. And this was the first paint set that I got to try out. Now, I have been painting for um, a lot of years. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shy to share uh, how many decades I've been painting with watercolors. Um, so anyhow, um, I like, uh, I like a unique, I like a unique palette. Um, I have a lot of paints from a lot of different brands and I have a lot of cad yellows and such. So I really go crazy when I see a unique palette, something that I really don't have something, anything like in my collection already. And that's why I chose to get the romantic palette first. So the romantic palette was um, $60 and I got 21 full pans. So these are the colors that come in come in the set. Um, you can see I've used them lots. I'll just lift the whole pan up closer to you. Um, I swatched this out on Canson XL in 2021 
and it has been in my tin ever since and loved. Um, so these this this palette has a lot of really unique colors and yeah I mean there's a lot of um pa colors here that have you know PW6 in it but I certainly didn't mind and I really wanted it for this coral so um and I should mention that this coral paint right here is not light fast however I I that doesn't bother me um, here I have uh, this uh, set swatched out on 100% watercolor paper, and this is the coral right here. Um, and these are these paints on 100% watercolor paper. Uh, I have this swatched out because I already recorded this video um, and tried to upload it. I shared that this was my most requested video of last year, and so I wanted to make it my first uh, video of this year, my first upload of this year, and I uploaded it and it was corrupted. And so I deleted it, and in process of deleting it, I also deleted my last video upload, which happened to have over 2,000 <laughs> of views on it. It was the Van Gogh uh, watercolor review. Um, so unfortunately, you know, that was gone. And, um, you know, my video from that I recorded was gone. That thing is here forever. And so I don't put a whole lot of stock into whether something is light fast or not. For me, it doesn't, um, I, you know, I now knowing how um, fugitive this color, and it is fugitive, actually, it's more than not light fast, it's quite fugitive. Um, so I think Kim Crick did a, a, a light fast test. Um, and it seems to be like this is fugitive. So, you know, now that I know this, I won't use this, you know, in work, but typically I'm painting for pleasure and not for profit and things like that. So this was my first palette that I got and I'm super super happy with it and then um shortly thereafter uh, I think a few months later uh, Russia invaded Ukraine and um that's when I bought the next set so the next set on my list to get was this botanical set so um Rosa Gallery has three different botanical configurations, I believe. They have two sets of 14 full pans and then this set of 28 full pans, which I got. And the 28 full pans is um, $60. And this was the second set that I got. I um, I got this set after Russia invaded Ukraine in um, February of 2022. And um, yeah, so I have, I want to share a little bit of artwork that I've done with these and tell you about my experience with these paints um, and show you that, yeah, I, I swatched these out too the first time around. Um, here it is on, here they are on 100% cotton paper. This is uh, the Meaden cotton paper block. I'm really happy with this paper, incidentally. Um, so here is some artwork that I've completed with it. Um, so the first painting that I did when I got the paints was this one here. This was um, painted with the Romantic set, and this is a Stillman and Byrne uh, beta series. So this was the first painting that I painted in 2021. Um, and uh, this is with Naples yellow. And yeah, I'm, I couldn't be happier. Um, I really layered them, tried to push, see what I could do with it. And um, yeah, happy, happy with it. Uh, and then I got the botanical set and um, painted this one. I've heard that some people have some trouble layering uh, with the Rosa paints, and I have seen people use the paints in videos, and I have to tell you, paper is everything, y'all, um, and I haven't heard that in a few years on the YouTube. Um, it, it, you know, paints are going to vary from you know, uh, manufacturer to manufacturer, but not as much as paper will. So today I want to show you how these paints perform on various different paper. So I have three different types of sketchbooks to share with you, and I have several different 
types of paper to show you the paints on. And I really want to encourage you to um, try your paints on different papers. They will behave on different paper um, and uh, for, for a multitude of reasons. So um, the Snowman and Burn is a 100% cotton sketchbook. Um, or cotton paper and uh, it's it's like a hot press the beta series and so these lollipops you can see I I layered I mean I think why I was able to layer these paints is because this is a hundred percent cotton paper and I let each layer dry completely before I went in and and with before I went in with another layer and those two things really make all the difference in the world, at least in my experience when it comes to painting and layering watercolor paints. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, I know I certainly have not been able to layer um, on cellulose paper. Um, I then, this sketchbook here is cellulose paper. I love this sketchbook. This is... Um, the U.S. Art Supply sketchbook, and I've had a few of them. I really like them. It's a real worry-free sketchbook for me. This was uh, the Romantic set, and I actually took this plein air uh, the summer of 2022 uh, to a lavender farm and painted this uh, with my Romantic kit. And I really liked it. I mean, I, I, I didn't, you know, this was before I had my portable painter. This was back in the summer of 2022. Um, and then I did some donuts with the botanical set. But yeah, I mean, I didn't, you know, oh, here I pushed it a little bit um, with this. Um, yeah, this was botanical set. You know, just a little sketch out of my mind. I didn't, I didn't, you know, for my imagination. Um, yeah, I was just playing. And that's what I mean. Like this is, uh, you know, a sketchbook that I can really play in and the, the papers really held up. Um, you can, I, ooh, sorry, I'm really happy with these, uh, sketchbooks. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, speaking of sketchbooks, the next thing I got was a sketchbook. And it was from my pen pal in Ukraine. I have a Ukrainian pen pal and she is actually an acrylic painter. And I had sent her some handmade paints that I made in Happy Mail. And she sent me this sketchbook, which she actually got at a local art store in Ukraine. And, um, you know, I told her all about Rosa watercolors and I had made her some artwork with them and told her how much I love them, how I was supporting them, yada, yada. And um, she went ahead and got me. She said she did, couldn't find a watercolor journal, but she found uh, this one. And so I wanted to share it with you. It's a, cause it's a pretty cool sketchbook. So um, actually it's got even cool, cool stuff inside. So these are stickers she sent me. These are some stamps with insects and moths on them from Ukraine and a postcard. So, and then on the inside, it's got like embossed art supplies and it says Rosa Studio. And I haven't done any work in it. This is like a uh, craft paper on one side and it's not real heavy. Um, you know, it's, it's it truly a sketchbook. And then what's cool, what's, even cooler about this. I mean, it's cool because it's like direct from Ukraine, right? But what's even cooler about this is, oh, on this side, there's paint and it's black. Now I did swatch out their, um, their gouache in here, but I haven't done any artwork. So yet in here, but yeah, how nice is that? So I have a sketchbook to uh, use and draw in from Rosa Studio, direct from Ukraine. I need more coffee. 
Okay, so this next palette I think is really, really cool. And I won't go too in depth because I, I did a whole video on it and I now have a playlist. I have so many Rosa videos that I now have a whole playlist. So check out that playlist. I might link that down below if I remember. Anyhow, the next set I got was this one. It is the Rosa Gallery set. It's another set of professionals and it's a, it's a plastic palette. This one was $40. So it was under budget for me. So I was really happy about that. And this one comes with 28 full pans and uh, room for more. And what's cool is it um, has like a thumb thing in it so you can hold it. And what I love most about this palette is that you can um, pop these out and replace them and put like any configuration of paints that you want. Incidentally, while I have this pan out, I will show you that their pans are really pretty. So this is sepia and you can see they come with full pans. Um, they're poured, they're embossed on the bottom with Rosa's logo. And on the side here, uh, it shows the light fast rating, transparency, pigment information, uh, whether it's staining or non-staining, uh, and then the, the number and the name. I can't get over the attention to detail for the price. For instance, this, this palette was $40 for 28 full pans. Like what? Um, that's, that's less than $2 a pan plus the price of the palette. Like all of them are like that. Um, so yeah, that's the Rosa Gallery plastic palette. I like to uh, mix in other things like my neo, my neon paints and my uh, graphite with these paints. So yeah, check out my Rosa playlist. I have like mixing videos and stuff. I love these paints uh, because they're super affordable and that makes them super usable to me for all sorts of purposes and they're professional paints. So I can even use them um, for work that that is getting sold which brings me to actually my next set of watercolors so the next set that i got from them is actually this this student grade set of watercolors and um i got these on a fire sale um these are relatively new to me less than a year i've had these and i love them y'all i love them so the thing is is Okay, so Rosa has a few different lines. They've got Rosa Gallery, which is their professional grade of watercolors. And then they have Rosa Studio, which is th their student line. But yes, they say it's appropriate for studio work as well. So for practice work, right? And I was intrigued because there are some pigments here that I don't own. And also they are light fast. So, you know, really if... um you know, I already shared with you how I feel about light fast rating. It, but if I, I know that um, light fastness is important to a lot of people, and if it is to you, you know, if your student grade paints have a light fast rating on them, there isn't any reason why you shouldn't be able to use quote unquote student materials in professional work. So to give you an idea of how I use my work or how I how I paint and what I paint for, I'm I'm a hobbyist and this is a habit. I love it. It's my passion. And also um, I sell my work from time to time, mostly stuff I've already painted. Then a handful of times a year, I'll get commissioned uh, to do some work. And so I'm super lucky and super fortunate in that regard. So if I'm getting commissioned for a piece, no, I will not use use fugitive materials. Uh, however, um, you know, generally speaking, I'm, my stuff is, you know, quality stuff, you know, I, um, and if somebody really wants something that I created with crayons, you know, and they know it's crayons, I'm not going to, you know, tell them it's not made with crayons. Um, yeah. And so, you know, and charge accordingly, you know, I mean, that's so, so anyway, yeah, that's how I feel about light fastness. That's how I feel about my materials. And um, yeah, I think use them, create with them. And yeah, art is is to be enjoyed in the here and now. So um, anyway, and I wanted these watercolors and I'm so glad that I have them because I paint with them all the time and they do layer well for me also on paper. Now, when I got those, I also got a few more palettes and then I will go into like the acrylic paints that I got. Uh, and have like the other products that I have from them. So um, 
I have two other sets of Rosa watercolors and I have the mono pigmented set and I have the urban sketching set which is these are both new to me I bought these both on like a fire sale as well and I recently did a video on this mono pigmented set um I here are the swatches so the mono pigmented set is I think around $50 and um it comes with uh 21 full pans of mono pigmented uh, paints. I recently unboxed, reviewed, whatnot, and somebody left a really interesting comment on the video, and they said that they chose this as their first like professional watercolor set because it was affordable and it was mono pigment, and they could really learn mixing. So there was some convenience to having so many different colors, right? But then also you have the benefit of them all being signal pigment colors, and what that means is that you can mix to your heart's delight, and you're gonna have to work really really hard to make some mud out of these colors and so I thought that was a really uh, smart suggestion especially if you want to try Rosa Gallery uh, watercolors and maybe uh, you know another one of the palettes that you want to try is sold out you know I, I encourage you to think about uh, trying out this one uh, because it's a really nice palette and a super affordable way to get a uh, 21 single pigment colors um yeah in a beautiful tin to boot and then this one is an urban sketching set of 12 that is new to me and I haven't used it yet and I got this set because there is one full pan in there that I wanted and it is that royal brown this PBR 25 I was really I'm really curious about uh this pigment and about this set so I'll be using this and making a video on this set very on my channel very soon so please subscribe if you haven't already I am like at 900 subscribers uh, when I'm making this video. So please give me a thumbs up when you're down there too and hit a notification bell. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I do want to share some artwork that I did on some 100% cotton paper. Um, this is on the Baohong sketchbook and uh, I uh, did this sky with it with I think the botanical set if I remember correctly. And I think I used the, or the classic set. I think I used the classic set with these. That's right, the classic set in the plastic case. I made this one and this one from the plastic case. And then, oh, and then this one also with the classic case. So this was palette cleanup from the um, graphite video that I made. I like to mix graphite in and uh, with the paints. And so this was just some palette cleanup that I did and uh, then uh, did some metallic, you know, leaves over the top of it. You know, I was just doodling in my sketchbook and doing palette cleanup, having fun. So yeah, beautiful paints. I don't have one complaint. Um, now I'm gonna share with you uh, some other paint that I have from I love gouache and I recently discovered that Rosa Gallery made gouache or Rosa makes gouache. And I just did a video of this gouache paint. It was, it's amazing. Um, check out again my Rosa, my Rosa playlist. It's, um, I love this paint. I love it. It's, it, it is indestructible like the Ukrainian spirit. I mean, it, it truly is. Uh, I was so impressed with the performance of this squash. Check it out. And I paid $10 for this box of nine 20 milliliter paints. And it's really nice, y'all. So check that out. And then I got um, also, and I bought those at, um, I think I got these at walmart.com and then I got these at michaels.com then I got these at michaels.com I wanted to see what else they had and there's a lot so have a look around so these I got at michaels.com Rosa Talent seems to be like their craft line I haven't painted with these yet but I want to paint like this is um like textile paint and I think I paid $15 for these and I want to paint like an art supply bag or something with it. I don't know. I'll do something with it. But um, the colors are really beautiful. And I'm excited to use those. And I just needed all the paint. I'm sure some of you can relate. And then this, this is um, acryl gouache. 
matte acryl gouache. So I I I couldn't believe my eyes. This I have not shown on my channel and I'm going to I'm going to share it with you today. So that's like your bonus for staying through this whole way is seeing the Rosa Gallery uh acryl gouache in action. So I I couldn't believe it. So this box of 20 milliliters, 18 colors, a 20 milliliters was $15 on michaels.com. And it says deco acrylic and matte, matte paint. So I'm thinking this is, is this acryl gouache? Like matte acryl gouache? Like what? And it is. That's exactly what this is. Here are the colors that came in this set. And I'm going to show you. I, I couldn't believe this. I've, I, this one was um, $10 and it was six 20 milliliter pastel ones and so yeah I bought them both and I'm and I'm glad I did um and I have a couple of dupes as you can see like the 33 34 um there there are more of them that I don't have so I'm super excited about that and this paint I am so impressed I didn't know what to expect right so it says like deco acrylic I didn't know what to expect and I thought, well, you know, maybe it's going to be like for less than a dollar a thing. I thought maybe it's going to be like folk art stuff. Is that what to expect? Right. And I know. And that's it's not. It's actual acryl gouache. So like you see, it's like thick. And. And it's opaque and beautiful and it dries to a matte finish. Now I will tell you, I have since gone back on and looked to see what else I could find from Rosa, what other kind of paints. And I did see that they had a similar configuration of this, but it said glossy. So if you go to like michaels.com and you wanna purchase uh, this paint, um, make sure that you're you're buying what you want uh, and this is where it's going to say that so like I said I thought you know is this going to be like apple barrel paint you know so I didn't know this was like a dollar a dollar fifty at Michael's or whatever so I didn't know but it's not and I want to compare the two just to show you um, so I shook that up and uh so that's like craft paint, you know, that's like your deco art paint. Um, and I won't even dip it in water again. We'll just see what it looks like. And you can see the difference. It's I shook it up. Yeah. And to be fair, I'll even kind of try and pull this out a little. Oh, it's not going to move. It's already dry. This is one that I've painted with and I did some colored pencil detail, but that's paint. So, um, yeah, I was able to get really fine detail. Um, really beautiful. I'm, I'm so impressed and matte finish, just gorgeous. Um, that's colored pencil, by the way. Um, the, the, leaf design on the back is color pencil and this is on a hundred percent cotton um the um bao hong hot press is what uh this is on super love it super love it uh i hope you support rosa gallery i really do especially now especially two years into the war you know um i as I clean up here. Now more than ever, it's important to support Rosa Gallery and support Ukrainian companies. I have recently seen some YouTubers starting to use Russian uh, products again, and I am really baffled as to why they are doing that. Um, you know, it wasn't a trend to support Ukraine when Russia invaded. Um, it is um, more important now to support them 
than ever. And yes, it matters where you spend your dollar. It matters more than anything. Um, capitalism and money makes the world go round, right? Money makes the world go round. And so it does matter where you spend your dollars. And if you spend your dollars with Russian companies and on Russian products, and you promote Russian products, you are promoting Russia. More important now than ever that we support Ukraine and uh, so that they can see this through, right? Uh, when, when it's not in fashion and we still stand with Ukraine. So if you're still with Ukraine and you're still with me after all of this, please leave a Ukrainian flag emoji down, down below in the comments. And uh, while you're down there, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, until next time, everybody, which will be really, really soon. Um, take good care, peace, and love. Bye.